Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E., and today, my friends, we are answering one very simple question, which is, why is the empty set a subset of every single set you can imagine? It's a subset of the empty set. It's a subset of any generic set A. The empty set is always a subset of any set. Why is that? Well, there's one particular perspective that I have on it that I think makes it pretty easy to comprehend. So that's what I'm going, that's how I'm going to explain it to you. So suppose we have set A. I already used A, let's just use B. Suppose we have B equal to 1, the set containing 1, 2, 3. And then we have C, which contains 1, 2, 3, and 4. We know that C probably shouldn't have used C because of the subset symbol, but we know C is not a subset of set B. And why is that? Because C has one element, or rather has A element, uh, that's the more important part, A element that is not in B. 4 is not an element of B. And since 4 is an element of C, C cannot be a subset of B. So all you need to do to disqualify a set from being a subset of another set is identify an element that it has that is not in this other set. So in order for a set to not be a subset, it must have one or more elements. It just must have a element that is not in this other set. In this case, it's B, the set containing one, two, three. Now, in the case of the empty set, does the empty set have any element in it that would disqualify it from being a subset of any other set? Well, of course not. It doesn't have any elements in it. So, of course, if you need to have an element that other sets don't have in order to not be a subset of those other sets, the empty set is naturally going to be a subset of every single set because it doesn't have an element in it to disqualify it from ever being a subset. So I hope that a uh, mess of words helped explain it to you if you were wondering why on earth the empty set is in fact a subset of every set. And similarly, the empty set doesn't have any element in it that the empty set doesn't have. So again, it is an empty set of the empty set as well as every single other set. So I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or if you'd like further clarification in the comments. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. Try to not be stupid I would lie To say I promise anything Let me go easy, it's nothing And I promise I won't